In 1992, Vince Van became the first Vietnamese American on the Wichita Police Department. I'm just one of those kind of people that's really like to help people. That's part of the best part of the job, is helping the community. It's a community that's different than the one in Vietnam, a community his parents and five siblings escaped in 1975. Without police, I think we would have chaos. Uh, I came from a country that uh, I witnessed that, and uh, chaos is not good. After college, he wanted to become a financial analyst for the city of Wichita, but instead, he was introduced to a career in law enforcement. She asked me, what do you speak? I said, I speak Vietnamese. She goes, oh my God, we need somebody like you. When Van joined 25 years ago, Asian crime was on the rise. He was often called to bridge the language and cultural divide. The Asian crime here has decreased tremendously because of what we did back in the mid-90s. The increase of uh, uh, police present, increase of the Asian officer that's on the street now. Can I get a 27 and a 29 on Hispanic male? More Asian officers on the streets like Tracy Gupalan. People are often surprised that this Filipino-American from L.A. is on the SCAT unit. I can't believe there are female or there are Asian female officers out there and it's almost empowering because you want them to see that there are other jobs. Financial crime, Detective Van speaking. Although his calls have gone down, Van is among a group of certified interpreters on the department. These linguists can communicate in Spanish, Vietnamese, Laotian, Arabic, and American Sign Language. Of the 836 in the department, more than three-quarters of the staff is male, compared to the city's population, which has a majority of females. While the large majority in the department is white, there is representation from the black, Hispanic, and Asian communities. We're aware, but we're, we're actually making a, a very concerted effort to diversify even more. The more diverse you are, linguistically, culturally, the more effective you are. Deputy Chief Jose Salcido says the department competes for talent with other organizations, especially for those who have additional language skills. You have a lot of competition from the private sector. Uh, the one thing we offer here is if you are, are a certified li linguist or translator, you actually get uh, extra pay. Although some officers may not be fluent in another language, there are many that have language skills like Gupalan who can understand Tagalog. The police department should be, you know, diverse, and it is very diverse. Gupalan, who is one of 200 women in the department, says her race and gender are sometimes an icebreaker with those in the community. There are some interactions with other Asians, and when I get to speak to them, uh, it, it almost seems like they're a little bit more comfortable. For bilinguists like Van, he's hopeful that young people know the value of learning an additional language. And even though my kids were born here in the United States, I'm hoping they can maintain the language, and I'm hoping that they can keep it going.